Hi, Michelangelo here. I know you haven't seen me for weeks. I guess it's starting from the pandemic. And then from there I started teaching on Zoom. And then I also had a health crisis of my own. And I know this is not much of me playing any guitar for that matter. Well, you can see. So my fingers have kind of got a little corroded. Uh, but I wanted to give you a view of my new room or so-called man cave. Um, okay, well you see behind me I have Wolverine and Colossus doing the, I forgot what it was called, uh, the spitball. I think it, I think Wolverine called it spitball. And then there you have uh, Deadpool in all his might and glory. And, um, let's see, I, I don't think I can show you things. There you see the My Mask, and you see my other Funkos. And lo and behold, it's Jaja Ja Bing. Who says you saw? We should call Jaja Ja Bing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's funny. Oh. And uh, I'm trying to angle the phone a little bit. Oh, okay. I think you can see it a little bit. My shrine to Edgar Allan Poe. He's, he's like my, my inspiration for what I'm going through. I know it's probably not as hugely ridiculous as what he went through, but his triumph is my triumph, and his sorrow is my sorrow, and his battles won is my battles won. And yeah, there's a lot I'm not telling you about. Um, well, for one, you know, I I like to keep my life a secret. Of course, when it comes to showing you songs or melodies and or stuff, you know, it's like, yeah, I, I got to show you something. Um, but yeah, um, let me see if you can see this. Ah, there's me as a clown, as a skeleton clown. With my corpse all rotting away, and yeah, and then you see the the floating shelves. Those are from my mom, Janine Debella, and my auntie, which, whose name is Audrey Judy, and my sister Tammy, helped me put this room all together. So, hopefully one day you'll, you'll get to see the room and it's all its immaculate glory. As you can see, I have like some of the floating shelves on my dresser. I have a, a Blu-ray thing in my room that's going to go outside. And then I have this, uh, this uh, standing thing, uh, ladder, which my sister is going to put up the... The, the Funko of Qui-Gon versus uh, Darth Maul, where they're going to be in an internal battle of conflict. And, um, yeah, I, I, I love my Funkos. Uh, if, if, you, if you see down here, uh, I guess you can't. They'll, those two Funkos are my prized position. Well, the those two plus the, the one at the school, which was signed by Kirk Hammond, and I have him in a picture signing the, the, the Funko. Uh, but the, the Michael Myers one was signed by uh, James Courtney something. Um, and he was from the Halloween 2018. And he, he was actually the, the guy who played Myers 
and he did an excellent job. I mean, it, I mean, after maybe the two uh, later versions, like uh, H two O and um, uh, Resurrection, I mean, I, I saw those, but you know, they, 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 they didn't really get me going. It didn't like have me shouting, Michael, Michael, you know. But then when I saw this one, you know, at first I had, I was thinking to myself, I'm not going to watch this movie. It's 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 going to be horrible. It's going to be terrible. No, so no, I'm not going to watch it. But you know, I saw it and I liked it. And of course, the my number one Funko. Well, I don't. It's number three sixty seven. I, I I can't show you from the the way the cat go, the camera is angled, but uh, it's Mary Elizabeth Winstead as, and it's signed by her. I have the the certificate of authenticity, and she signed on the Funko window. Mary Elizabeth Hunter, it, where she was playing the the character. Um, Who? Oh, she she was in the Bird of Prey. She she played the character Huntress. Uh, let me see if I can show you some of these other things, goodies. All those drawers there are nothing but movies. Yep, nothing but movies. Say good night, Jar Jar. Good night. <laughs> well, I I hope this takes away some of the bitterness in your life and seeing how my life has drastically changed, and that I hope this will you inspire you to continue to practice all of your melodies, all of your songs, all of your guitar, open chords, scales, arpeggios, especially arpeggios. Whether you're doing with arpeggio with your right hand or with your with your you're flying in through the the fretboard. And always remember there there may be times in your life when when dark is near. But the dawn is only beginning. This is Michelangelo. I bid you adieu.